साइड में मैम राइट में मैम राइट साइड या मैम राइट में आपके राइट में मैम जीता मैम मैम राइट में यहाँ पे जीता मैम राइट में यहाँ पे how are you guys good good मैम Thank you. 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 Thank you.
All right then, come on here. Agnes, come on. Yeah. Center stage, come here. Okay, bye. Rolling? Okay, hi, Shishmita. It's very good to see you. Very good to see you and your new look. <laughs> yes, it's you. suiting you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, I just want to ask you, what can I thank you? Well, I mean, you've seen through all the paintings. So, what, what is your initial reaction about uh, the painting? You know, like many of us, I, I know for years I have been very fond of art. Um, I've always seen unexplored new artists with new gifts and mujhe art se bada lagav is liye bhi hai ke just like cinema it has a way of imitating life and being drawn from life especially with an artist like John Fernandez he was a realistic form of an artist he, he chose this form where everything was about realism he had actual models posing for him at a time when um, uh, fine art was more, you know, modern art was taking birth in the fine art space. He did both fine art and commercial art. But tonight, what is really, really special is that here is a love story. Here is a love story which I have been saying that this has happened in my country, it has happened in our people. This is art ka ek interpretation. Hai. Artists are not going to be able to do it. They gifted. But when I got the literature for today's exhibition, and when I got to know the, the love story of John and Agnes, um, they were like a team. They were like a team. They were like a team. It's almost like she says, um, Art was John's first love. I was his second. Bohat kam log hote hain jo who make peace with that as a concept. Um, they built a home and a world where, till his last day, through all his accomplishments, he told Agnes to do three things, amongst many other, but the three that I know of. First was that she should hold this exhibition in Jahangir Art Gallery because in 1991. He started his first solo exhibition right here. Right. Yeah. And today I feel privileged that she has me for this, this moment where she's keeping her promise to her loved husband and a great, great artist. Um, I am extremely humbled and very touched that he thought of me. I am very, very happy that I'm here to be a part of that. So, well, so are we? No, and, and I hope there's more romance like that where you explore life, where you go through whatever it is that you experience and you remember that there is a togetherness, like she says, a soulmate. Yes. I got soulmate. Now, listen to this romance, I'm sun sun single. Hu. <laughs> Obviously, because, you know, you keep inspiring to find that, that, that it thing, the je ne sais quoi factor. But it's lovely to have you all here. Enjoy. Enjoy. Do in fact, uh, Which is why I loved his uh, watercolors. Oil to patience hai nahi mujh mein. Uh, oil dry hoga, phir second layer aega, ye sab nahi hota mujh se. Lekin watercolors I love, mixed medium I love. And when I'm very inspired, I make something. I start, ke main aaj, uh, I will make Madhuga's eyes, for instance and they end up becoming Buddha. <laughs> they, they just come out the way they want. So no, I'm not a trained artist, but I have great love for art. I feel like that if we are hidden something that is our own, if you really take a if you really take a pen to paper also and doodle with it, you'll be amazed what you can create with it sometimes in a moment of being completely inspired. So yeah, I love art. Very fond of it. Ma'am, what was that thought you spread the love? Sorry? What was the thought you made this painting? You know? What was the thought of? Yeah, you made this painting. One second, one second. let me ask. You are John's inspiration, you yeah. are his muse. Yeah. Um, how, how, it, how does it feel reliving his memories here today at the exhibition? Actually, reliving in the exhibition, I relive John. He lives in my heart and soul and in his heart. Look there. Yeah. Center. Center. Yeah. Say. See, you asked me a question saying how 
how how do you feel reliving John's memories here today at this mm, exhibition? I feel great, of course. But actually, John is in my heart and soul, and I li he lives in his art. Every day, I see him in the morning, afternoon, <laughs> night. You know, House. it's not necessary that I should have an exhibition to really. It's you know, I relieve every moment of the day. That's special. And as you said, you know, uh, yeah. you love art. So I want to ask you how important is art in, you know, in a person's life? Like, do you have the uh, painting that you place also? Like, you, when you're your vivid art photo? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, mere ghar mein ab diware nahi bachi hai, jahan par main ek aur painting down sakhu. It's packed. So I have a beautiful temple at home. Or temple ke darwazi ke bahar bhi, uh, there is just one wall and that wall is also packed with some uh, seven beautiful rishis. I wanted the Sapt Rishi outside. To waha pe bhi jaga nahi hai. So that would have probably been the only wall where there was still scope, but waha bhi nahi hai. I just feel like I love depth, you know, the way people look at a window and they look out at a view and they see depth. Sometimes when you look at a painting <coughs> and you revisit that painting again, you keep seeing new things. <coughs> yeah, every time it has it. <coughs> so, when the mood is good, the painting is very beautiful. If the mood is bad, then the whole painting is looking at something else. So, I think it's it's really about. That's why we say to our children in childhood that for everything, everyone gives them crayon and a piece of paper. Because you can bring that imagination and that world with a view, uh, which is so so important for the good health of your heart, of your spirit. Um, they truly are a window of your soul. There is a way that art expresses itself. I'm not a connoisseur. So I don't know what to be here. But I get the feeling. When I look at a painting, I get the feeling. And, and I think that to me is absolutely fabulous form of art. Uh, okay, now, uh, okay, we'll talk about it. So, uh, like, have you seen any of the recent films, you know, or many of the films, like, Dears in the Gear, that yeah. so, which yes. was the last Bollywood film that you saw? I saw Dears in the Gear, okay. it was the last film I saw. Yeah. And fabulous performances. I think Indian cinema over the last one decade has started coming of age. Uh, it's beautiful to see commercial actors and non-commercial actors coming in, kind of crossing over so comfortably. Directors risking scripts that were typically not considered commercial, um, making films without singing and dancing, uh, unheard of from the film industry. We knew it to be. This is a great time to be a technical, uh, a technician in the film industry or an actor, uh, director, uh, cinematographer. Doesn't matter. Any creative field uh, attached to the Indian cinema today. Uh, very exciting times and I can't wait for the world to wake up to our kind of films because for a very long time we made such films that we only liked the rest of the world. We liked the rest of the world only musical, it's a musical drama, musical romantic film. But now we have a script, we have screenplays, we have uh, a beginning, middle and an end, the way scripts are written today. It's excellent for us. It's my last question. <laughs> I like always because we all miss you on screen. I'm sure everyone misses you. You know, this I always say is is my God's greatest gift to me. That despite my very limited work, done 35 films in in 13, 14 years, this has been my greatest turning. Is that my audiences and people such as yourself have always made me feel like you need to come back. We miss you. Uh, and so the little pressure does come up that I don't want to come back and disappoint you. I much rather wait and now come back with something that you say, ah, Sush, now that's what we're talking about. That's taking a little bit of time, but I promise you, I'm not going anywhere till I give you that. One second, coming back to the exhibition, Agnes. Thank you. So how difficult was it to choose the paintings here since all his works are so beautiful? You go first. Okay. Actually, you'll have all seen that John's works are one more beautiful than the other. So it was really a difficult task choosing the paintings. It was like searching, you know, for the, you know, searching the good ones, like searching a needle in a haystack. It was that difficult. But it took us a while and in the end we came up with a show. And there you see the work. Beautiful. Uh, see, as you look at John's works, uh, each, each one of his paintings are as she said, one better than the other. So it's, it's for us to decide now which is better for us. 
but there's not even one painting which you look which will say it's not good. So it becomes very, very hard to choose the top and then, you know, go down or whatever. So, you know, this is like his, his top works, you see, and as you look around, there's beauty in each and every piece of work which you see here. So for me, it's, like, it's been, it's, it takes a lot of time to do this effort to put all, this, all these paintings here. But, but, you know, John's work is such that you will find your pieces which you like and which you want to rate as your top and then, you know, the next and next and next. So it's, it's a long process, but it's, it's really fun doing it. And finally, this is what we have. Excellent job. Very and nice. We just the last question. I'll yeah. put some of the paper in. If you could pick one. Well, that would be M -M. fair because it's very... That will not be fair <laughs> because That's yeah because it's it's very different. There are no two pieces here. Jahan par aap dekhkar kahenge they are so similar or they have the same feeling or the same vibe. But I have to say the one that had me stumped, like I stopped, was this one. It was just something about the strokes. You know, ham jab sari bante hain to uski jo pleats girti hain fabric ki. To do that with the strokes of brushes, so casual. Mm. It's beautiful. But those eyes, oh my God, those eyes. She's apparently right now a mum of two. I was just asking. She's an actual model who posed for him, and she's in Switzerland. Sorry. Yes, she she's is. in. She's yeah, in. Yeah, what's, she's do we know her name? Rucha. Rucha. So that is Rucha. Rucha Vedya. Vedya. And this is how amazing Agnes is. She remembers everyone's names, where they are, yes, and they what are they're doing. And she's actually uh, the muse for John, who also got him all of her students, because she's a teacher with the convent at that point. Uh, and they became further inspirations for him to paint. There she is. Do you have one live model right here? Come say hi. So one of them is here. I was so fascinated. That's her painting. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. There she is. John's painted her a few times. Right there. Okay, pan camera. Okay. Oh, and also, this is John's last big painting. The one that he painted in 2004. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. How beautiful. I find you see the face in that beautiful bag. You guys, thank you very, very much. Oh, then more tickets. It gets boiled. Huh? Who's calling me, Babu? Okay.